Here is an image of a mouse tail vertebrae. We will use image J to measure the distance or height between these two vertebrae. The average distance will be calculated for this space. To measure the length, we will use a macro to perform the analysis. Head to the website as shown in the screen. The link is available in the description below. Scroll down and download the macro. Simply copy the entire code and head back to image J and click on Plugins, New and Macro. In this macro window, paste the code. To save this macro, click on File, Save As, rename the file with the extension .ijm and save it. This macro is now ready to be used. To store the result, a text or a CSV file is required. For instance, let us create a text file. Rename the text file according to your choice and select the directory and then save the text file. Now, open the macro using image J. This macro can be run directly or it can be installed. Please visit the tutorial on how to install plugins and macros. The link is available in the description below. To run the macro without installing, click on Run. This pop-up window allows users to select the text file that was created to store the output result. Click OK to proceed and select the text file. The next pop-up will ask users to input the image of interest. Click OK and select the image of interest. If the images appear small in size, use the zoom in feature to magnify the image. We will measure the space between these two tail vertebrae. The action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line to mark one of the edges and then hit OK. Select the segmented line tool from above and draw a line at the edge in one of the tail vertebrae. Once completed, click OK. The next action required window asks the users to draw a segmented line in the edge of the other tail vertebrae. At this time, the segmented line is converted into splines. Now, use the segmented line tool and draw the line along the edge. Once completed, click OK. The macro uses minimum of 3 and maximum of 15 points to calculate the average distance between the two objects. To get the average distance between the two lines, the shortest distances between points along the shorter line and the longer line are taken into account. In the next pop-up window, it asks the users whether to continue measuring additional images or to save the measurement and quit the macro program. Once the action is chosen, click OK. Now, click on the text file that was created earlier. The text file contains the name of the input image, location of the file, time of measurement, and the results. Length line 1 corresponds to the first line generated at the edge of the tail vertebrae. Length line 2 corresponds to the other line generated in the edge of the next vertebrae. The distance would refer to the maximum of 15 points to calculate the average distance. Measured is the distance or height of the space between the two tail vertebra. Therefore, the distance or height is 9.7 pixels. 
The rest of the results are the mean, standard deviation, minimum, and the maximum. Users can also verify if the average distance between the two vertebrae are accurate. To manually calculate the distance, open the image of interest using image J. Next, select the line tool from above and draw a straight line between the two tail vertebra. Now, click on Analyze and Measure. Here, users can find that the length is 9.339 pixels, which is similar to the calculated distance using the macro. Users can draw multiple lines between these two vertebrae to find the average or mean distance. Thanks for watching.